Doom, for example, is one of the most toxic things you can put on your body. It has should you use the fragrance in skincare or you should avoid it? Let's break down this polarizing topic. First, let's explain why this topic is so polarizing. You see a lot of online people with authority, for example, dermatologists. One dermatologist says, I'm okay with fragrance, go use it. The other will say, no, you should avoid fragrance. Before diving deeper, we need to understand this. Allergic contact dermatitis to fragrance when developed is a lifelong thing. Yes, you will get stuck with it forever. The second point is that personal opinion should be separated from scientific facts and a disclaimer should be said when we talk about a very nuanced topic like fragrance allergy. If you want to recommend, please specify if it's that your personal opinion or a scientific fact and a professional opinion. And lastly, because the fragrance risk is very complicated, the consumer or the patient should have the knowledge and education and then take this personal decision by themselves. Now let's jump why fragrance allergy is so complicated. The simple answer because fragrance molecules are so annoying. Fragrance molecules by themselves are so small to be detected by your immune cells. They need to create a complex with a protein and this complex that consists of a protein and a fragrance molecule is then big enough to be able to be detected by your immune system. This process that leads to creation of the complex between a protein and a fragrance molecule is very essential but at the same time it varies a lot depends on the fragrance molecule itself and the individual that is being exposed. Some human are able to create this complex very efficiently, leading to higher risk, and other people don't create this complex. Another reason that adds to the complexity of this topic is that some molecules of fragrance are actually totally safe, but when they are exposed to the enzyme in some individuals' skins, they get converted to a molecule that is able to create the complex. And some other individuals have a low activity of those enzymes, and this type of conversion is not happening, which means lower risk. The contact allergy towards fragrance happened through two phases. The first phase is called the uh, induction phase, is when the complex get created and your immune cell is able to detect it and the immune cell scan it and memorize it. This process takes from 10 days to several weeks with no symptoms. The second phase is called the elicitation phase and it happens after a second exposure. The complex get uh, created again, but this time your immune cell has the memories from the first stage and they start the cascade of contact allergy and you will notice symptoms and it will start from one to two days after exposure.